Does it trouble you? I wish I could get rid of it. We have need of it yet. So you've mentioned. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. <laughs> You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Anderan Atishan. You speak Elven. You've just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Will the Chantry attack us? With what? They have only words at their disposal. And yet, they may bury us with them. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Mm. We'll post soldiers a safe distance from the temple. Our best guess at safe, anyway.
We avoided the fighting as best we could. Every bit as bad as we feared. Apostates are mad attacking anything that moves. It appears that the Templars here aren't following anyone's orders any longer. We located Mother Cell and are trying to protect her, but she refused to leave the refugees who have ensured their safety. It will be hard to do, but without troops to push the apostates and the Templars out of the area. Commander Cullen asked me to, to make inquiries of Master Dent, retired horse master of Redcliffe, who lives in the area. We tried to contact him about obtaining better horses for the Inquisition, but we've been able to get through the fighting. Lead Scout Harding. <coughs> of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but you'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's high town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but... they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Yay, rest. That seems kind of pointless, but... Whatever. Come on. Word for you. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Nothing to report, sir. Field tanks? That's obviously not the way to go. How do we get down there? Oop. Does that work? Watch your step. Mother Giselle cannot be far. Forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Hold. We are not apostates. I do not think they care, Seeker. Templars, we mean you no harm. It doesn't look like they're listening.
More coming our way. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, Mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle? I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. Is that why you asked for me? The Chantry is already... I know what they've done. Then why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. 